So in this video, I'm going to talk about the different kinds of quadrilaterals. The quadrilaterals have different types. We have parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, square, trapezoid, and kite. And all these possess the common properties of quadrilaterals. That is, they have four sides, four angles, and four vertices. And also the interior angle sum up to 360 degrees. So let's talk about the parallelogram. And it looks like this. So a parallelogram, it's a quadrilateral. Obviously, it's, it has four sides. With both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So that's a requirement for a parallelogram where the one on, on top and at the bottom are parallel, meaning they do not intersect to each other if you are going to extend it. Also the left and right sides. Another one is opposite angles are congruent. So meaning if you say congruent, they are having equal measure. Also the opposite sides are congruent, meaning they have the same length for opposite sides. Also, adjacent angles are supplementary. So what does it mean by supplementary? If you add the uh, angles, it will sum up to 180 degrees. See, so if you say adjacent, meaning they are not opposite to each other, but they are just at the side with each other. And then diagonals bisect each other. So what does it mean by this? So the diagonals cut into half with each other. Now let's talk about a rectangle. So it looks like this. So a rectangle is also a parallelogram because it possesses all whatever is described in a parallelogram. It has four, uh, I mean, two opposite sides which are parallel. The opposite sides are equal as well. And everything that was described in parallelogram or in rectangle but the thing here is the angles are right angles which is not always true in parallelogram but in rectangle it is right angles so it's a parallelogram with four right angles and additional property that is not in a parallelogram is the diagonals are congruent so again, the rectangle is simply a parallelogram with four right angles and the diagonals are congruent, meaning they, they bisect each other because they are parallelogram. At the same time, they are equal in measure. Unlike the parallelogram in general, it's not necessarily to be equal, they are equal in length for the diagonal, but at least they cut into half with each other. That's why we call it bisect. Another quadrilateral is rhombus. So it looks like this. Sometimes it's called uh, diamond because if you uh, rotate it to make it stand, it is actually a diamond. But technically speaking, in geometry, we call it rhombus. And then it a rhombus is a parallelogram, so all the uh, properties of parallelogram are also in rhombus, except that it is having a four equal sides. So it's a parallelogram that has four equal sides. Also, the diagonals of this rhombus are perpendicular to each other. So aside for bisecting with each other, these diagonals are perpendicular that means they they form a 90 degree angle if you're going to intersect the diagonals of this figure but unlike the rectangle it is not equal in length for the diagonals one diagonal is longer than the other but it is perpendicular to each other now let's talk about the square so here's the square 
So square is a rhombus with four right angles. Because a rhombus, again, it's a parallelogram with four right, uh, I mean, four equal sides. So that means square is also a rhombus, but it's just that the angles, the interior angles are right angles. Square is also a rectangle that has four equal sides because a rectangle has four right angles. It's just that the sides are equal. So that means square is a combination of a rhombus and a rectangle. Now let's talk about trapezoid. So here's a trapezoid and a trapezoid is not a parallelogram because this is a quadrilateral with only one pair of opposite sides which are parallel. So it's only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel, unlike the parallelogram. So let's talk about kite. So kite looks like this and kite is not a parallelogram because it doesn't have any parallel opposite sides. Unlike the trapezoid, at least it has one pair of parallel sides. So it is just simply a quadrilateral, but it has two pairs of adjacent sides which are equal. The one on top, both sides are having equal measure. They are congruent. Also at the bottom, the two sides are congruent. And the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So that means as the diagonals intersect, it forms a 90 degree angle. And the longer diagonal bisect the shorter diagonal. So unlike the parallelogram that it bisect with each other, here in kite, it's only the longer diagonal that cuts the shorter diagonal into half. And also congruent non-vertex angles. So meaning the angles at the left and at the right are equal. Then another property is it makes us easier to compute the area of this figure. The area of a kite is equal to half of the product of the length of its diagonals. So meaning you just need to know the length of the diagonals and multiply the two lengths and take the half and that's already the area of this figure. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.